and one state with everyone living together. Um, do you have such a vision for what an end would look like? Well, uh, I mean, I think the dream uh, for the dream. me, the dream for me, is to to reach a point where there are no borders between peoples all around the world, not just between you know, <laughs> Palestinians uh, and Israelis. Yes. So, but but we need to be underst understanding of how do we reach to reach that point? And I think all of us are in this process mm -hmm. where the human identity and being identified as human overcomes yeah. all other national, ethnic, yeah. religious identities yeah. uh, that we have been yeah. born with and learned to to make our own yeah. and, and allowed ourselves to overcome our yeah. real identity. And mm -hmm. uh, for the situation, it, it really becomes for me, you know, maybe the dream is to have this one land and one country for everybody to live in it. But I would understand that unless all of the issues are taken care of, it's not just the issue of the land of Palestine and so on, but also one of the big issues is how to address the whole history and culture of fear that has come with mm -hmm. the Jewish community mm -hmm. to be on this land. Mm -hmm. And I don't, you know, I'm not justifying the, the fear, I'm not excusing the, the mm -hmm. fear and saying because of the fear we should we should do this. But the fear and that has come from the experience of the Holocaust and centuries before the Holocaust mm -hmm. needs to be addressed yeah. as part of dealing with this conflict and dealing with this issue. Mm -hmm. People who talk about the one state solution now mm -hmm. immediately uh, talk in language heard by Israeli Jews as a threatening mm -hmm. language to annihilate our existence. So we cannot talk about the one-state solution without talking about all of these components that can yeah. make the Jewish-Israeli community say, we also want and accept yeah. and will benefit from the one-state uh, solution as well. So if it starts even at, as the two-state solution level, then I am for that in the process. But the two-state solution have to have that issue of equality. There has to be complete equality at every level. Yeah between the peoples that live in these uh, two states. The rehumanization, mm -hmm. sometimes called. So what we really want is a no-state solution. That's what. Where we don't care how many states. Yeah. <laughs> it's not unlike Gandhi's situation where he had to build up uh, nationalism among the Indians to give them enough pride that they felt that they had an identity so that then they can dissolve it and, and rejoin the whole world. But we would like to make that uh, symbolically and, and that, physically real. And that, that no 